What's up everyone, welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls, and guys, let me start the video off by saying that no matter how these characters turn out gameplay-wise, they are still gonna be hype. I mean, this is a pretty big situation. We're getting the Zero Squad in the game with original voice actors, and that, that alone is enough reason to be hyped for me as a Bleach fan. So, with that out of the way though, I still have some concerns about the screenshots I've seen. So let's go through it one character at a time, starting with Namaya. And uh, all the screenshots look pretty cool. There you have his special, and uh, two clips of it. Looks great. Never have any concerns about specials, guys. They always look pretty good. k -Lab doesn't mess around when it comes to the uh, special animations. But here we have a gameplay clip of Namaya, and he's going to be a green character, first of all. And he's also going to have insta-kill on his special, and a boost second strong attack so all that is fine um th the only concern i have really is the fact that he doesn't have any status ailments he should have at least lacerate in my opinion because that's his whole thing like his his sword is so sharp it can't even be put in a scabbard he has to put it in a bucket of gel like you see up here so like i'm kind of concerned that he doesn't have any status ailments because right away that's a strike against him now he might have some New mechanic or something that makes up for the lack of status ailments. We'll have to wait and see, but um, hopefully, hopefully he's going to be good, guys. Um, I predicted this character to be a flurry normal attack unit, so um, we'll have to wait and see on that. So that's Namaya. That's really my only concern with him, the lack of a status ailment. Uh, let's move on to Ichibe. Ichibe also looks pretty good. Uh, look at the special clips, guys. That's amazing. Wow, look at th that's straight from the manga, this panel right here, straight from the manga. And then we have a clip of his Strong Attack 3. So if you look at the icons, it looks like he's going to have ranged collision. Uh, if, if I'm correct. If I'm wrong on that, guys, let me know. But that's what the icons tell me. He's also going to be a speed character. And he's going to have weaken on Strong Attack 1 and 2, but not on Strong Attack 3. And I can't tell if Strong Attack 3 is red or orange. Maybe there's a new mechanic going on with Strong Attack 3. So uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. I really, I'm really not too worried about Ichibe from what I can see on the screen right now. It looks to be pretty good. He's got full screen third, status ailments on like what strong attacks one, two, and the special and his normal attacks. So that looks fine as well. He's also going to be melee. So um, no concerns with Ichibe. I mean, I mean, in my opinion, he's the headliner of this banner. So I, they usually make the most hype character like pretty strong. Although not always, guys. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. I do like the third strong attack. The face comes out. So that's pretty cool looking as well. Uh, Orihime, however, she might be the one I'm most uh, not concerned about. But I, like, I'm, I have questions about her. I have questions. Not about the outfit. The outfit looks great. Kisuke is a man of culture. We, I think we can all agree on that. But if we look at the, at the screenshot here, she's going to be a power character, red. And she's going to have... Which looks pretty hype, guys. She's going to have a boost slash heal. So that's going to be an amazing support ability. Uh, we all kind of had a feeling that she would have that. So, I mean, that's not really too much of a surprise. Uh, it fits her powers perfectly. Boost heal, guys. You know how strong that is? Can you imagine? I mean, like, if, if you're in co-op, you get hurt. She can heal you and put a barrier around you. And, you know, I had a prediction that it wouldn't just be a three-hit barrier. It would be like a four or five hit barrier. But we don't know about that. That's just speculation. For now, we know for a fact that she's going to have a boost heal. Also, I'm going to predict she has a star barrier. But that's not here or there. Boost heal. Ranged unit. All that stuff's cool. The lack of status ailments, once again, is an issue for me personally. Gameplay-wise, um, nothing. No status ailments. Not even on the special, guys. So, um, what does that mean? I don't know. I mean, the fact that she has a boost heal, definitely in my opinion, would compensate for the lack of offensive abilities. So, like, it's fine if they nerf her a little bit offensively because they made her really good support-wise. But the special, I feel like she should she should have had at least a heal on the special or the revive mechanic. You know the revive mechanic that uh, that uh, Manga Kisuke has or uh, the Can't Fear Your Own World Zile, the one that gives you an extra life if you use the special? I feel like she should have had that or a heal, or like something, something else on the special, like a support ability, but apparently she doesn't have that, guys. No status ailment either, so it looks like the special is going to be straight damage, which, you know, if you give her bombardment, you know, that's pretty good. That's still fine, but 
Um, it is a cause for concern with this character because this is the character I want the most. Like, I love me some shield characters, guys. So, um, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe they all have some new mechanic that'll make them hype. I'm sure they will. You know, they'll probably be something like immune to all status ailments or I don't know. Um, the killer abilities will be something interesting to think about as well, guys. Uh, but that's a different topic. You know, is Orihime going to be a Quincy killer? I don't know, man. We'll have to wait and see. Like, I keep saying we'll have to wait and see. But we will have to wait and see. Strong Attack 1, though. Uh, what you see on the screen there. That looks like the the manga Kisuke Strong Attack 1. And I think Quincy Ichigo has it as well. Like, it's like three, three beams that go out. But hers look wider than all of theirs. So... I'm almost guaranteeing she's going to have Havoc, guys. Look at the range. Look at the spread to the sides on that Strong Attack 1. That's huge. That's huge. And, it, like, it, it's going to cover everything that's in front of her. So that looks great, man. Now, visually, I like the shield as well. Look at that, guys. I love the shield. It looks just like the manga. She's definitely the one I'm most hype on. Um, I just hope uh, she's as strong as we all expect her to be. But... Like I said in the beginning of this video, it doesn't matter how strong they are. The gameplay is not important. The fact that they're in the game, that's what's important. And that what it, for what it means for the, the future of the game as well. And maybe for the anime returning. I don't want to go there, but I guess that's all I got to say about it, guys. Let me know what you think. All these screenshots are on the official Bleach Brave Souls website, so you can look at them there and decide for yourself. All right, so I'll see everyone next time. Bye-bye.